Hey, 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 welcome back. We got another one. Uh, you guys are pretty used to it by now. Thanks for leaving lots of comments. I love the support. Uh, liking all the videos, getting into discussions about what you agree and disagree upon. Um, I love it when you guys disagree with me in the comments because obviously if you disagree with me, it's an idea that I haven't thought about or haven't considered fully. So by disagreeing with me, you allow me to open myself up to other perspectives and realize where I'm either wrong or help me realize that, hey, maybe this is a common thing that you guys think and therefore what I think is more effective. But always it's a good thing because it allows both of us to uh, hear each other out and decide what is the correct and most effective Grand Arena strategy. So thank you for all of that. Um, let's see. Mighty Dan's. All right. Rebel Scum. <clears throat> Hopping in. Okay, interesting. Um, I'll talk about the Night Sisters in a second. Yeah, I think the big thing that I'm going to talk about in this video is lack of gear at 1.4 million GP. Um, once you get over a million GP, you need to have at least three squads that are gear 10 plus all characters. Um... I'm a little confused. Wait a second. I have to do some <laughs> I have to do some more research. This roster is a little confusing to me. I uh, passed separatist. Undu Twat Kat se Okay, so you got your Padme probably with Poggle at the seven star area. Asajj was probably dominating with the new gun rate. Yeah, yeah, okay, that makes sense. Um Huh. Okay, well, you got the Night Sisters, obviously. Uh, how is that going for you in school? Oh, okay. <laughs> 1300. So, not a great team to choose. Um, in some of my other accounts, my like in one of my newer accounts, my uh, Night Sister is my best team. I like it for uh, longevity in like galactic war and stuff like that, territory battles. Not a great Grand Arena team, however, since it can be exploited by almost every team. Um, I like the Zeta on Darth Vader. Again, I'm just saying gear. Like, Treya low gear, Padme, Kenobi low gear. Brute doesn't matter that much. Palp low gear. Um, HK has a Zeta, but low gear. Han's low gear, Newt's low gear. I mean, you threw a Zeta on Darth Vader, but he's low gear. Even your Newt's low gear. Huh. Okay, so for this roster, what I recommend is pick a couple squads. I guess Night Sisters, Darth Vader as a solo, and Galactic Republic, I'd probably say, since you actually have the... Padme unlocked. So gear up Padme, gear up Anakin, gear up Kenobi, gear up Ahsoka, gear up Yoda for God's sake. Why is Yoda level one? Okay. Get those five geared up to at least gear 10. You're sitting pretty. I'd say honestly stop with the Night Sisters. Leave them as is. They're probably still dominating. Gear up Darth Vader. Try to get him to gear 13. At least Relic 1. Um, if you've already sunk resources into this get your nude up to like your nine your ten get dooku your 12 uh, i'm really confused about this zeta was it on the leadership uh interesting uh throw zeta on Treya, of course um i guess you're going for darth revan it's rough sorry <laughs> i'm rambling here uh no, you're not. Okay, interesting. So just pick those characters I listed out and get them geared up. Uh, that's kind of all I have to say about this one. Um, and I have to prep. Uh, I have to end this by saying, if you love Night Sisters and that's why they're all geared up, amen. <laughs> this is a game about fun, and uh, I mean, I do the same thing on some of my other accounts, some of my bigger accounts, some of my smaller accounts too. So, uh, yeah. So thank you.